you want to permanently save some part of your data set, then there's an easy way to do that in Python. This short video is going to show you how to export any data from your Python editor into your own local computer. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to say import pandas as pd, and I'm going to show you how to use this pandas library to export the data. Now I'm going to load a Kaggle data set on Netflix movies and TV shows by saying df is equal to pd.read csv, and inside this method you have to pass in the name of the data set. It's going to depend on your case, but for me it's going to be called Netflix titles.csv. And I'm going to say df and run that just to take a look at the data set. Let's say that I want to create a separate data set on only the Netflix movies and not the TV shows. So here's what it's going to look like. I'm going to create a new variable called df underscore movies and I'm going to say it's equal to df and inside the square brackets I'm going to pass in a conditional. So I'm going to say df again and I'm going to say type and I'm going to put in two equal signs because I want to check if the type column is equal to movie. So I'm going to say equals equals and inside single quotes I'm going to put in movie. So this line of code is going to return a new data frame that stores all the information on the Netflix movies. Now I'm finally going to export this new data frame. It's only going to take one line of code to do. So I'm going to say df movies dot two underscore csv. I'm going to pass in Netflix movies dot csv. So this line of code that's going to instantly save the data frame called df movies into a csv file and the name of that csv file is going to be called Netflix underscore movies dot csv. So if I run this and I check my folder. If I scroll down a bit, then I can see that there's it's already saved into my local computer. And if I open that Excel workbook, I can see that it has all the data for only the Netflix movies, which is what I want. Hopefully you've learned something new from this video. And if you want to learn more cool things about pandas, then check out this two minute video, which is going to show you how to retrieve any data from a Wikipedia article into your own Python editor. So I hope to see you there and thanks for watching.